everyone, it's great to see you back. Thanks for your likes and subscribes. And if you're new to this channel, this is a perfect time because today we're going into the fundamentals of chronic disease, any chronic disease. When people get a diagnosis of a chronic disease, usually the first thing that they ask themselves is, why did this happen to me? Why do I get this and why now? Well, for many, that is a mystery and stays a mystery. The thing is what studies found is that so many chronic diseases, they develop from a point of low-grade inflammation. And with a big word, it is systemic, chronic, systemic, low-grade inflammation. Chronic, because the inflammation should be there for a while before any chronic disease can develop from it or progress further and further because that is the hallmark of any chronic disease. It progresses. It doesn't go back from itself. So it's chronic. It's prolonged inflammation, but not high inflammation, not acute inflammation. And that is the well-known form of inflammation when we have the flu or we have an injury and we have swelling on the outside of the skin. That is a high-grade inflammation. This is low-grade inflammation, LGI. But it's also systemic, meaning that it is all over the body. It's not localized on some part of your skin or... Um, in your nose when you have uh, a cold, um, it is systemic throughout the whole body. So why is that important? Well, because we know that when there is a form of inflammation, low grade or high grade, then the body senses that something is off, something needs to fight, be, be uh, fought off. So there is some kind of a threat, a threat that is threatening survival, that is threatening thriving. So our basic system is to survive, to thrive and survive. And anything that can be threatening to death, well, that jeopardizes our existence. So then low-grade inflammation or high-grade inflammation comes into play, which is, of course, a good thing. But if we know that low-grade inflammation, for us now it is chronic, systemic low-grade inflammation, but I refer to it as low-grade inflammation. If that is there, then there is some kind of a threat and that has some kind of consequences. And those consequences often are in further stages, chronic disease, whether we talk about heart diseases, respiratory diseases, lower back pain, migraines, irritable bowel syndrome, arthritis, cancers, what have you, the whole plethora, the many, many types of chronic diseases. The root of all those chronic diseases is low-grade inflammation. So then the big question is there, is low-grade inflammation the root of all evil? Or is it protecting us because there is some kind of a threat and the body is protecting from that threat? That is difficult because it seems quite opposite. So is it a villain or is it a vigilante? Is it helping us? Well, actually, 
it is a vigilante. It really helps us to fight off the threat. The thing is, with acute inflammation, there is some form of a resolution within a couple of days or within a couple of weeks. And when this resolution is not there, then there is a problem. Because after a couple of weeks, the side effects of fighting off that threat is very damaging to the body. Now, apparently, with low-grade inflammation, this damage is weaker, luckily, and therefore it takes months and months, but most often years and years to develop any chronic disease. Now, the side effects of a vigilante. So, the thing is, how can we help the vigilante to fight this threat? Well, we have to find the threat. We have to find the thing that is harmful to us. Apparently, there is something that is harmful to us because that's why we put up our protection shield. Therefore, we have this vigilante. What is our threat? Well, there is something that can help us, that can give us hints to this question, to, and to the answers of this question. And that is pain and suffering. Pain and suffering comes with any chronic disease. Sometimes the pain is a little bit more and sometimes we lean a little bit more into suffering, but most often there is both. Now the thing is, in itself, pain is a signal. A signal that something is off. It is not something that is there to stay. And if you experience pain, you kind of know that because the pain is not constantly there. It comes and goes and comes and goes like, hey, hey, I want attention and then it leaves you alone. I want attention and it leaves you alone. The same for suffering. These are attention grabbers for a reason. They want your attention that something is off and something needs to be done to solve it. When there is resolution, like in acute inflammation, everything is cleaned up and inflammation is cleaned up and repair of the cell and the cell organelles will occur. Uh, the damage will be cleaned up and function will be restored. But the thing is, we need resolution. Resolution of that threat. And the question is, what is that threat? So what is behind the pain? And what is behind the suffering? Well, there are two very, very, very big questions that we cannot answer in a short YouTube tutorial. But it is food for thought. And that is what I want to give you when you understand why chronic disease starts, why chronic disease develops, and why it progresses, you can do something about it. Well, the thing is, it starts, it develops, and progresses because there is prolonged low-grade inflammation. And the inflammation is there because there is something that is harming us, that is harmful in our life. And the signals are pain and suffering. Now, pain is a direct signal and suffering is something mental. So the threat could be both physical or mental, but it is a signal. So therefore it's food for thought. What is there that is harmful in your life? Because the threat does not need to be, or most, most, most often is never a real threat, 
like a dinosaur coming in our way. It is usually a fear. Um, a fear of not being good enough, a fear of something that is going to happen in the future, worry, rumination about the past, rumination about past events, maybe even past trauma. And there are some hints when there are things happening in our life that are triggers, that are triggering our negative emotion. And you will notice when those negative emotions are triggered, the pain gets bigger or and or the suffering gets bigger. There are triggers. And that's why this is food for thought that you understand that actually low-grade inflammation is always vigilante. Although low-grade inflammation is the root of all evil because it is an alarm for us. It is a signal that we have to stop whatever we are doing. We have to stop that what we perceive as harmful to us. Now, that's a journey. And therefore, reversing chronic disease is a journey. It's a journey of personal growth to find what things in our life are harmful, unwanted, in the way of fulfilling our desires, they are blocking our path for something. So there is a lot how we can feed low-grade inflammation. So that is also something that we can stop, like foods, like alcohol, like cigarettes and actually although most people think that changing their food habits their drinking habits their exercise habits that that is hard especially when we want to take action on our resolutions then they think that is hard hmm. actually that is the easiest way to um, reduce low-grade inflammation and feel a bit better when we could only do that take some action on our consumption and choose the things that are anti-inflammatory like fruits and veggies and nuts and seeds and beans and whole grains if we can do that that would really help us we can even boost it with extra anti-inflammatory foods like blueberries, like green tea. The thing is, probably we would never absolutely eliminate low-grade inflammation because that symbolic threat, that representation of fear because the real dinosaur is not here. It's a representation of the dinosaur is still in our life. And that is a journey to find out. Now, most people who reverse their chronic disease, they absolutely believe that that was a great journey. Discovering yourself, discovering not only what bothers you, but especially discovering what you really, really, really want in life, what your desires are, how you can fulfill your desires, how you can make the best out of this life. And that is what I wish for you. So this is the very start, the really the basics to start reversing chronic disease. So I hope you step on that journey. So if this was valuable to you, Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.